Good morning. Good morning, Sharon Lutheran Church and anybody else who is tuning in. Welcome to Community Connections. My name is Pastor Dominique, and on Mondays we will be Oh, I'm just realizing it may be cut off the beginning. Um, so in case it did, good morning. Welcome to Community Connections. My name is Pastor Dominique. And on Mondays, we will together look at a resource or a prayer practice or a way that we could kind of center ourselves in um, these strange and difficult times. So I'm going to begin by um, reading a psalm. And one practice that you can do each day or as often as you would like, of course, is to center on a word of scripture. And as I read through this, I invite you to just listen for what stands out to you. Is it a word? Is it a phrase? Is it a message that you're hearing? Um, so as I read through, um, listen for what's sticking out to you. We'll do kind of a reflection together after I read it. But most importantly, um, is what this has to say for you today. This is Psalm 121. It's titled, An Assurance of God's Protection. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Amen. The part of this psalm that has always stuck out to me is that opening verse. I lift my eyes to the hills and how I used to take that and still, I mean, it still does hit me this way, but I've learned a little more about it, is that I pictured looking out at the hills or looking out at mountains. And what that does for me is to call me and to give peace because I feel close to God and nature. And that's a space that would um, give me some assurance. But then I learned a little more about this psalm and learned that likely what the person who wrote it was talking about is looking out to the hills and asking the question, oh no, where is my help going to come from? Because as they looked out at the hills, they likely were witnessing um, an enemy's army making its way down those hills and towards their community. And so looking out at what lies ahead and feeling overwhelmed and like, oh my goodness, where, where is my help going to come from? Or how are we going to get through this? Or what is this going to be like? And although we don't look out and see armies coming towards us, likely there's something you're looking ahead to that feels a little overwhelming. Even the things that we're celebrating, right? Like Easter coming up on Sunday and all of Holy Week leading up to that, Monday, Thursday and Good Friday, this will be, I think the first time in my life that I won't have gathered in a church building with a congregation of people in person to celebrate. Holy Week and Easter, and that might be true for you as well, or all kinds of other stuff um, that as you look out and look ahead, feels like, how will we get through that? Or what will, what will help us through that? Or even a difficulty picturing what does lie ahead, right? There's just a lot of, of unknowns and, and overwhelm. And the person who wrote this psalm goes on to just all of these words of assurance, right? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. A reminder that our help and who is with us is God and that God has got this because God created the universe, the heavens and the earth and you and me and all people and all creatures. Um, and even though there is pain and there is difficulty in our world, God who created all things good is with us in the midst of it and not sleeping on the job, right? The next part is that God does not slumber or sleep and that God holds you and holds your life in God's hands, that the Lord will keep you, will be with you as you go out, which nowadays can be a sanity break to be able to go to the grocery store for the week or whatever, but also is nerve wracking because you don't know what you'll encounter as you're out. 
and is with you as you come back in and are at home and safe, but maybe feeling a little cooped up. That God who created the heavens and the earth holds you and holds your life. The prayer practice I'd like to um, introduce us to is kind of living out our own Psalms. Um, the book of Psalms is huge. If you haven't kind of dove into scripture and think maybe this would be a good time to do so, Psalms would be um, a good place to start. They're basically prayers or songs and poems that people have written and they're in three different categories. There's lament and thanks and praise. And so lament is naming the difficulty. It's sort of just like venting and asking for help. And they don't hold back. They're pretty real and dramatic with God about where they're at and how they're feeling. And then thanks, thanksgiving to God, and then praise. And the author who I mentioned last Monday, Anne Lamont, has a book called Help, Thanks, Wow. And she just puts the Psalms into these, um, into this easier language that basically they are asking for help. They're saying thanks, or they're looking at creation or what God has done in the world and just saying, wow, right? Just being in awe about it. And our Psalm today kind of started as a lament, started as I looked to the hills and where will my help come from? And then it moved into one of thanksgiving for all of the comfort and the hope that God provides. And a lot of the laments go that way. They start out really naming all of just the pain and the garbage and the difficulty in their world or in their lives. And by the time they get to the end of that kind of venting and giving God what they're holding, you can just hear some comfort and some hope. Usually by the end, they name some thanks and some wow. And so I'm going to invite us to pray together now a help, thanks, wow prayer. And I'll leave a little bit of space in between each of my petitions for you to at home lift up your own. And then I invite you to write in the comments so we have a chance to pray with one another one of your prayers. If it's a prayer for help, a prayer to thank God, or something that made you say, wow. And we'll um, be able to pray over um, Facebook and the internet with one another and hold one another's um, prayers. So please pray with me now. Loving God, we thank you for people of faith who came before us and who have taught us to pray. They were willing to be vulnerable and to lament and to give thanks and to admit when something had wowed them. So we pray that you help us to do that now. <clears throat> We lift up all of our prayers for help. We pray that you help students to focus in a different learning environment. We pray that you give teachers encouragement and that they know that they are connecting. We pray that you help those who are lonely. We pray that you help those who are vulnerable. We pray that you help to make the future more clear. We pray that we start to see some answers. We pray that you help us to feel peace in the midst of unknowns and wanted answers. And God, we lift up to you all of the things that we are thankful for. We are so thankful for our minds and that we have created technology that still allows us to connect with one another. We thank you for doctors and nurses and people working to keep the necessary parts of society running. And we lift up to you all the things that make us pause and just say, wow. This morning I give thanks for warm sunshine. For people who are finding ways to love one another despite the challenges and just showing that 
love wins. For your creation, God, we lift up all of our prayers for help, for thanks, and the things that make us say, wow. We trust that you're with us and you hear us and you're holding these prayers and at work in our lives. Amen. Now, I invite you to um, use that prayer practice this week and to know that it doesn't have to be a perfect prayer or a, you know something fancy, but just a word of help something you're thankful for, and something that made you say, wow, and allow that to be a time to be real with what you need help with, um, but also to allow your mind and soul to notice what you're grateful for um, and what is amazing around you as well. Know that you are held in prayer, that you are not alone, and peace to you this day.